All right, good afternoon, Lake Berryessa residents, uh, residents of the Berryessa Highlands, Circle Oaks, the Corners, uh, Turtle Rock. Um, we've got some good news. Uh, it's unofficial and it's it's not uh, in effect yet, but uh, Napa County officials are in the process of trying to reopen the communities here out in the Lake Berryessa area. Uh, latest word is that the Berryessa Highlands is still going to is going to uh, have the evacuation lifted this afternoon, possibly, hopefully, as early as two o'clock. Uh, also, Circle Oaks. It's promising. It's not guaranteed, but it's promising that Circle Oaks and Capel Cove or Capel Valley uh, Mobile Park will both also be allowed back in, uh, hopefully today. So stay tuned for details about. Uh, Circle Oaks and Capel Valley Mobile Park, uh, but it's almost guaranteed that uh, the Highlands will be uh, able to go home today. Uh, so this is some fantastic news. <clears throat> but on that note, I want to give everybody an update on uh, people that lost their homes. Uh, as it turns out, the employee over at uh, our ranch that lost his house, uh, he's somebody that a lot of us know very well, and many of us that have been up here at Lake Berryessa have known him for many, many years. Uh, Efren, uh, who's been able to help uh, hundreds of people in the area with their uh, land management and yard work. Uh, Efren, of, unfortunately, he's the lead maintenance guy over at, at uh, our ranch, and he lost his cabin uh, and all of his tools as well. So we want to encourage everybody to uh, uh, join the, uh, or to check out the, a fundraiser we're doing on GoFundMe. Uh, we'll post a link here in the comments in a few minutes. Uh, but I wanted to let everyone know that unfortunately Efren was one of the people that lost a, a cabin, a home over in our ranch. Uh, so for sure we are going to give Efren $1,000 cash this week uh, just as a, a reminder to him that the community is here for him. Uh, and that's what that fundraiser is all about. Uh, so if you have a chance and if you're waiting to get home to your home, uh, it, maybe uh, take a few minutes and go to the uh, GoFundMe uh, link that we're going to put on here uh, and show some love to those that have lost their homes. Uh, so far, we're, we've got three $1,000 uh, donations we're giving out to three different families, uh, and uh, that's what community is all about. We're all here to help each other. So again, Lake Berryessa News has one, some very good news to report. Uh, and the good news to report is that the Berryessa Highlands, uh, hopefully at 2 o'clock today, we'll get to see this sign here. Uh, I made the sign. It looks like a, it looks like I failed third grade art class, but uh, oh well. Uh, so welcome home to the Berryessa Highlands this afternoon. It's not happening yet, but hopefully at 2 o'clock or so. Stay tuned to your cell phones. You'll get a Nixle alert. And uh, that will uh, that will be your 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 call to go go home. And that said, the most uh, the uh, really important to point out road openings uh, are going to be 128 from Winters to Steel Canyon Road. That's going to be the way here. Uh, 128 from Winters uh, at two o'clock is the goal to have the roads open. Uh, so uh, it's not guaranteed yet, but uh, stand by for an official announcement later on. Uh, so Berryessa Highlands residents will be able to go home through winters. Uh, and then this afternoon, if Circle Oaks all goes as planned, uh, their goal is to open Wooden Valley Road uh, from Fairfield, from Wooden Valley Road, from Fairfield to uh, 121, and then 121 from Wooden Valley Road to the corners will be open as early as this afternoon. Uh, that's not for sure yet, uh, so this is just an early update uh, to get to let you all be prepared. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, but for the two o'clock opening, if it happens at two o'clock for the Highlands, it's going to be 128 from Winters. So we'll look forward to seeing the convoy soon of all the different friends and family coming back home. Uh, and again, uh, exactly, Efren, uh, what was the person at the R Ranch who lost his home? Uh, so we're going to be uh, uh, doing some fundraising to help him out. He's such a wonderful uh, helper to the neighborhood. And I'm sure Efren would be the first one to start helping uh, the neighbors that need help with their tree removal and stuff. So check out the GoFundMe uh, fundraiser that we're going to uh, put in the comments here. Uh, and all the money in this GoFundMe fundraiser is going to go to people that have lost their homes uh, in the in the fire uh, that are that are connected to the Berryessa region, uh, so thanks everyone for their patience and support. Uh, and again, I don't uh, you got to be patient and uh, wait a little bit longer because we're going to have a final announcement saying the roads open when that time comes.
Thank you and have a great day. And here comes another one.